And it may not surprise you to know that many young people in the Yorkshire Dales have to look elsewhere for work if they want a career that's considered creative. But designer Wayne Hemingway is on a mission to keep our homegrown talent closer to home. He's the ambassador for an initiative called Great Place Lakes and Dales. Good morning, Wayne. Good morning. Uh, can we get this right? Was your dad a wrestler? Yeah, yeah, my father is called Billy Two Rivers, uh, who was. You've got to be fairly old now, I think, to know who he was. But he was world heavyweight wrestling champion. Uh, in, old money, in, in old money, a Native American Indian, but nowadays you, you, it's called First Nation. But I, I know a lot of people don't get that term. Yeah. And he's chief of a tribe in the Kawanaki tribe in Quebec in Canada. Goodness me, the things you learn on the BBC. Anyway, Wayne, you're here for another reason. Great place, Lakes and Dells. What is that about? Uh, well, it's, it's a, an Arts Council and Heritage Lottery and funded and also a council funded initiative. There's some pretty significant statistics that the area of, that we're talking about, which is the lakes and, and, through, and through to the dales, has 44% fewer 16 to 34 year olds than the national average. Now, that's pretty serious because it is 16 to 34 year olds who are the, the main engine of, of of the future economy. You know, they're the, at that age, you're 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 at your most productive in terms of starting businesses, employing people, and, and also that age group is needed, obviously, for future for future workforces. If you lose them young, then places die. And we've seen that happen at seaside resorts all, all around you know all around the UK, and and, and we've seen them become places with um, kind of an over reliance on, on on the elderly, and that puts strain on all sorts of finances and, and, and holds seaside towns back. And we don't want that happening to beautiful places like this. I'm, I'm now sat on, uh, I've run up, I've been out running and I'm sat high above Kendall on a, on, on a, on a scar, on, on a fell, looking out over the lakes and, and, and out to the Yorkshire Dales. And this place is, well, the weather's amazing, obviously, but this place is so beautiful. Uh, and you can see... You can see why people want to be here, what want to live here, but there's a certain stage in your life, and it happened to me and my wife. You know, we're from Lancashire, from beautiful parts of Lancashire, and it happened to me and my wife where that you get the wanderlust and you, and you go somewhere else that gives you something that you need, that that we all need at a younger age, uh, and then sometimes you don't come back, and. So you can't, it's not about stopping kids having, having, not stopping young people going out and learning about the world, but they've got, but, but we need to retain some, but also we need them to be able to feel that when they come back, they can still do some of the stuff and have some of the culture and the art that they, that, they, that they often leave these places for. But like you say, the wanderlust, and I did it myself, I was brought up in Surrey and I moved north to London and then I came further north to Yorkshire. It's that bright light's been Big city. How on earth can we tempt the young people to remain in, in the countryside? Well, you can do that by, you know, a lot, a lot of young people move for, for cultural reasons, for art, for culture, for, for events, for that kind of stimulation. And, and, and you, can have, you can still have that. You know, we're not talking about having raves and wrecking the countryside, but you can still have that, that stimulation that you move to a city for, but do it in a, but do it in a, rural, a rural way and combine the two. And that's what we're looking at. Um, you know, we're looking at ways, what kind of events, what kind of long-term programs could, could do that. And it's, this is right at the beginning, beginning of it. You know, we, had a, uh, we, we gathered some creative minds together uh, in, in a venue in Kendall last night and then moving, moving over to Skipton Town, Town Hall tonight. And this is just the start of the conversation. And then, and then what we'll do is we'll, we'll go online and start to, you know, so that everybody can contribute ideas to this. Because there's no negatives about this, you know. They, they, you can't argue that we don't want young people to to stay. Uh, so we just want everybody, young and old, to contribute ideas and what we can do without, you know, without changing the intrinsic, beautiful values of, of of why people want to be here. You see, why are people going to listen to you? Because as you say, you were brought up in rural Lancashire and you've moved away, bright lights, big city. Why are they going to listen to you, Wayne? And you're telling them to stay. Because we've got a lot of it. We're, we're, the main thing we do at Hemingway Design is, is regeneration, and we look we look at we look at issues like this all the time. We look at examples around the world of what of what people are doing, and also you know we're in a position where we know that that, that 
that the British landscape, not landscape, not, not, not what I'm sat on now and looking at, but the landscape, the economic landscape, the social landscape, the political landscape of Britain is changing an awful lot. The Brexit vote showed how people, uh, you know, w want change, whether that's the right way or not, and that we ought debate debate here. But the fact is that places like London are becoming in a way, less attractive, less attractive to, to young people because they've, they've all, in the, you know, in, a, in an economic term, they've overheated. They're so expensive to, to be there. When myself and Geraldine went down, we went down with £50 each in our pocket. We were able to, to, to rent a house for £8. You know, there, there was... There were thousands of empty homes in London. It, was, it had three million people less than it had t today. So you didn't need any money to go down there. Now you would, you would struggle earning, you, you struggle earning £30,000 in London, never mind arriving down there and, uh, you know, with £50 each in your pocket. And so people are looking, young people are looking elsewhere. You know, some, place, some places are benefiting more than places in the UK. The amount of people who are moving to Berlin, creative minds that are moving to Berlin at the moment is, is unbelievable more than a moving to Birmingham and Manchester Goodness so God. there is a check there is a change in the air uh, and if you know if the lakes and the dales can harness that in some way then then it will we can start to reverse you know some of these negative statistics Wayne thank you so much for taking time out and and I can picture the scene of you looking over beautiful countryside I hope it goes well in Skipton tonight and I really appreciate your time Wayne Hemingway fabulous designer and he is a real sort of true person who is looking for regeneration as he says with his design company anyone interested in taking part in this is the place or can't make the events but still wish to be involved they can contact GPLD great places lakes and dales on great place at cravendc.gov.uk that's great place at cravendc.gov.uk and tonight's event in Skipton is at the Town Hall at 6pm you're listening to Georgie and